Let's go back to the main menu. And, oh, that's it. I mean, uh, it's time for channel three. So let's make some new sounds. Now I'm currently on sound one, so I'm gonna go back to the beginning because I don't have any sounds. I'm gonna scroll through the sounds. I have no sounds set up in channel three yet. All right. Let me check my notes. All right. So this is not, it's kind of similar to channel one, two sounds. So I'm gonna press, I'm just gonna set the default sounds. I'm gonna hold A and press up. All right, once again, so it's relative again. So we've got C3. Next is the waveform. This is gonna be the tone of the sound. Next is the volume, next is the length, easy peasy. So let's make this, whoa, this is a little different. So time, the time is the is easy, oops, time is easy. This is just gonna be, uh, all right, so you can loop between uh, different lengths. F is gonna be the longest, and then you can just loop it. Uh, okay, so let's make it long, just so we can hear what it sounds like. Um, We'll leave it at wave zero, and this is the level. So uh, for channel one and two, the level, there it is, the volume ranges from zero to F. Zero is off, F is loudest. This is really funky. This is, zero is uh, off, zero is off, okay. One is gonna be full volume. So I'm gonna hold A and press up. One is full volume. Two is half volume, and three is quarter volume. And as you can see, that's all we get. Zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. So this is full volume. Let's raise it up a little bit. I'm gonna hold up and press start. All right, and all right, that sounds good. So there's full volume. I'm gonna hold A and press it, change it to two. Half volume, quarter volume. Yep, and then zero's off. All right, let's start with full volume. And let's just cycle through. So this is kind of similar to percuss percussion in that these are, well, no, that's not true. So I don't quite understand the pulse wave channel. So in Kirillin editor, in this editor by default, there's a set of different sounds, uh, different tones, and they're predefined. I think, what I don't understand is I think there's a way to change those, modify those. Like on the actual Game Boy, you can, you can actually um, you can actually uh, like you, you can have fine-tuned control over this it's not just oh you have uh, 16 tones to choose from you can actually set what those 16 you can actually set what those tones are very specifically in Corellan editor they give you 16 tones to choose from I think there's a way to edit it I don't know how to do it whatever I like what what I get here it's fine all right, so there's zero. Let's just cycle through them. Yep, so zero through three are actually pretty similar to what we got on channel one, okay. Let's see what four is. Filtered sawtooth. Okay, A is gonna be a filtered saw through, but sawtooth but with resonance. So those kind of sounds, and back to zero. All right. So let's do a very simple sound, a C3. Okay, so actually just play the note that I want. And I like three. I'm gonna do full volume, and I actually wanna loop it. So I'm gonna hold B. And, uh, oops, I'm not going to hold B. I'm going to hold A, left, right. I'll press L or R to change the loop position. All right, there we go. And press start. It just loops. <laughs> just loops forever. Uh, yeah. Okay, so why would I want that? Basically, I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to lower the, vol the uh, pitch. Lower again. 
I like using this channel for a bass line. <clears throat> all right, let's make another sound, my favorite sound in all of uh, Game Boy music programming so far. This one's kind of wild. Okay, let's see if you can tell what this one does. So I'm going to start. So the default, the relative, the default is a relative C3. So I'm going to start on a C4. <laughs> okay, that's an octave higher than whatever you intend to play. And then it's going to, oops, jump down to an A3. Still pretty high, relatively high. F3. C sharp 3. And now we're passing the relative middle note. A sharp 2, G sharp 2, E2. So this is just keeps getting relatively lower and lower. C sharp 2. Okay. C2. Super low. Relatively low. A B1. Oh my gosh. Over an octave below the relative note and an A sharp 1 is the final sound, final whatever one. All right, the tone, the wave, tone? What are they called? The waveform I want is uh, number two for all of them. All right, and the volume level is one, full volume. And what does this sound like? So this is starting very high and uh, playing each step is another note much lower than the last one until finally it ends very low. So do 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 do. And the time each step is spent playing is the shortest amount of time possible. One. Uh, one step. I'm sorry, one uh, frame. I believe, and was in max volume. So let's try it out. There we go. We got a nice bass hit. All right, let's go back to the block editor. <laughs> I'm gonna hold left and press select to go back to the beginning. Step zero, and let's enter an A. Uh, let's do a. C C1. There we go. <laughs> Is this ridiculous? <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. Let's lower the sound. So, one of the nice things about working in this type of editor is that I'm not. Since I'm just telling it to play an instrument number, I, if I make any changes to these instruments, they get, uh, you know, they'll be used in the song. So let's uh, decrease the volume by half for all these steps. It's pretty, pretty intense bass line right there, in my opinion. All right. <laughs> and what about the other one? Sound, oops, sound zero. We can stick it in between here. Let's see. I'm just curious. This is so ridiculous. Let's do uh, C1. Oh, yes. How about a G0? Perfect. So goofy. All right. Uh, I know what you're thinking. We need the second half of the song. So, uh, pretty much uh, almost everything here, the uh, channel two, I want to, uh, I'll be using this all in my next block, the second block. I'm going to use the channel two, most of channel two. I'll make some modifications. I want to keep channel three exactly, the, pretty much exactly the same. Channel 4 will be almost exactly the same. And even the command uh, column will be the same 
because I want if you don't if you don't specifically tell it to keep to change the tempo at the beginning of each block, it's gonna it's gonna reset the tempo. It's gonna you can set a different tempo for each block. You can set a, a new tempo anywhere. I can do it right here. Kind of crazy. Actually, let's do that just for fun. I'm gonna go halfway through the song, change the tempo to much faster halfway through. <laughs> I'll delete that. 